Hello everyone, I am Kyra Weathersby here to guide and encourage others to have a transformed perspective as we evolve on this journey called life. Today I have a journaling video where I'm going to provide journaling prompts for those who are feeling lost. Check out my latest video here where I talk about what to do when you're feeling lost and just um, the whole topic of being stuck and not really knowing. Check it out. And then try these journaling prompts that I'm going to give in just a second. Before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and also turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I post a video. Here are some journaling prompts for anyone feeling lost. We all feel lost at times um, and feel stuck. Go ahead, get your notebook, get your pen, pencil, your journal, and let's get started. So when you're feeling lost, the first thing that you can journal is number one, how does my body feel right now? Focus on maybe your hands, your head, your stomach um, first and see what comes up. What sensations do you feel in your body? in this moment of feeling stuck, feeling lost, and jot that down. Focusing on your body first will help you go within and know your body and know where these emotions stem from or where you may feel them. So when it does happen again, or if it does, you can be more familiar with where it starts, where it's coming from, and where it's going. Number two is name your top three things that are currently on your mind. So as you're writing, as you're sitting down and journaling, name three things that are crossing your mind. These, are, these could be things that you feel lost about. These could be things that are annoying you or you're concerned about, anything. The top three things that cross your mind and are on your mind, jot them down. This will help you understand what things are on your mind. So therefore you can see where this feeling of lostness may be coming from, this emptiness or this uncertainty. If you look at what's on your mind at the moment, some examples of three things that could be on your mind, this could be work, family, friends, um, just future, past, like psychological time, anything really. Um, so there is no right or wrong way or something that's more or less important. Just the first three things that pop up on your mind. Um, and that way you can better target and dig deeper at where this feeling of lostness begins or where it's stemming from. Number three. What do I normally do when I feel lost? This is probably not the first time that you felt lost or uncertain or stuck. So take a moment to just sit for a second. You can even close your eyes and allow yourself to think back to some times when you felt lost before, when you felt this feeling. What did you do in those moments? Are there any patterns or habits that you're aware of when you do feel lost that come up um, or ways that you react or take action when you're kind of feeling stuck. Personally, an example of something that I notice I do when I feel lost is um, reach for my phone or reach for something to distract myself. Even though you may not consciously know that you're doing it, um, we all have these patterns um, and things that we do when we're feeling different kinds of emotions or triggered by certain things. So just sit for a moment and allow those things to come up. If you feel like you don't really know, you can write that down as well, whatever works. Number four, what can I do or try differently? So once you've written all the things that you have noticed or patterns, what can you do differently? And this could be anything. So for my example, I said I usually reach for my phone or I try to distract myself with TV or something funny, entertainment. So something that I have tried to do differently is instead of doing that, I sit with myself. And I talk about this in my last video. I sit and allow those emotions to come up. But some other great things is writing. Like you're here and you're journaling. That is a great thing to do. Something you can replace those old habits with. Writing taking a walk, reading, meditating, yoga. There's a whole list of things that you can do differently or try. So what interests you or what is something that you're thinking about 
and just take a moment to write that down. If you don't have anything in mind, you're writing now, so that is something different. Um, and then also check out my video once again. Um, I discuss some things that you can do when you're feeling lost and try those as well. And number five. Number five is not a question. This is just something that I advise you to do after you're done writing and putting your answers for the prompts. Go ahead and take 10 deep breaths. Get comfortable, close your eyes, relax. Once you're done taking 10 deep breaths and allowing your body to just relax, no matter what you're doing, you don't have to be still, you could be moving. Go ahead and write down how you feel. What do you feel in your body? What is going on in your mind? What thoughts are popping up? Um, how do you feel after? Do you feel like this was helpful? Do you feel like it wasn't? Do you feel like you learned something new? Whatever you wanna jot down, go ahead and write how you feel after taking those 10 deep breaths. Those are all the prompts for journaling when you feel alone or when you're feeling stuck or a lack of clarity. There's many ways you can put it. Journaling really helps you get everything that's going on within and in your head and in your body onto paper and you can really learn a lot about yourself that you wouldn't know if you didn't take the time to sit and write it out. I hope that these writing prompts were helpful. Go ahead and comment below what you learned from this video or some of your answers to the prompts and the questions below. Tell me how it went and also don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. Just a reminder and remember it's not about perfection but committing to expansion. Have a transformed perspective.